Hi there, church family. It's Julie Lake, your children's ministry director here at Woodlands Church. I am so happy to be coming to you virtually. You know, with all the church doors closing across America, there is no greater time to prove to the world that it's never been about the building. And I just want to tell you that I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you keep your patience with your children, that you're keeping the faith and growing closer to God, that you're staying warm and that you're staying well. And uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and open up in a word of prayer. Father God, I want to thank you for the opportunity that you've given us. This time that we have now to come closer to you and, and closer to each other. Father, restore relationships between family members, restore relationships with you, Lord. And build, build these relationships back up, Lord, and draw us closer to you. Father, anyone who is sick with this virus or just sick in general, Lord, I pray that you would heal them supernaturally, that the virus that came so quickly would leave just as quickly as it came. Father, I pray that you would um, provide salvation for those seeking it, Lord, that you would call the prodigal sons and daughters home, and Lord, that you would just bring upon this world a healing, a supernatural healing in the hearts and the bodies of your people, Lord, that you would just come upon the earth and heal us. Lord, set your church on fire in this moment. Lord, let us be lights unto the world. And Father, I just thank you for the word that you've given me. Lord, bless the ears that hear it, Lord, and I just pray that I would only speak from your heart and only the words that you want me to speak. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you guys. So this week I've been in prayer and I've been in um, the word and this word was given to me earlier in this week. It's just been so heavy in my heart and it's Psalm 62. Sorry, I'm turning to that right now. Psalm 62 verse 1 and 2. And this is really for the parents right now. Um, I know you guys are doing such a great job, you know, protecting your children from what's happening and doing such a great job at providing for your children. And you might feel a little scared inside right now. Um, and I just want you to know that God is a mighty God and that he will provide for you. And so I just wanted to share this verse with you. Psalm 62, 1 and 2. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. I just want to encourage you to not be shaken in these times. I know it's a little bit scary and everything feels a little unstable right now, but God is going to provide and he is going to protect us. And with that said, I am going to jump into the word that God has given me for the children. So go ahead and grab your kiddos and make sure they have their Bibles. And if they've been in my class, then they know how to look these verses up. So give them an opportunity to do that. And it's going to be Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. If you need to pause to go ahead and find that, go ahead and pause right now, but I'm going to go ahead and continue and read God's word. So it says, <clears throat> You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand it gives light to the whole house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what that means. So Jesus was the salt and the light of the earth, and he calls us to do that too. And one thing I want to tell you is back in Jesus' day, they didn't have refrigerators. So they did not only use salt to season their food, but also to preserve their food. 
So they would do something called curing the meat where they would dry it out and then and put salt all over it to keep the meat fresh. Um, so God calls us to be salt of the earth, which means that we are here to enhance other people's lives, make other lives better than we left them, um, do a good deed, pray for people, um, always do good works in the name of Jesus and just serve other people. That's what he calls us to do. Another thing is he calls us to be the light of the world, which means that we let Jesus's light shine through us wherever we go. That means that we are kind to each other, that we do kind things for each other, that um, we share God's word with people, with everyone. Just be kind. Please, in these times, be kind and um, let Jesus' light shine through you. Just like the sun shine, the light of the sun reflects off of the moon, we want Jesus' light to reflect off of us and bring people closer to God. When people see that you are so different because you have Jesus in you, they're going to want what you have. They're going to want that relationship with Jesus. So I want to encourage you to continue to build a relationship with Jesus and be the light in this world. So with that said, um, I do have a little mark for you kiddos. I want you to do one act of kindness every single day for every member of your family. And what that can look like is you can ask your parents what you can help them with around the house. It could be a chore. It could be praying for one of your family members. It could be playing a game with your sister so your mom can do the dishes. Or, you know, just something, do something kind. Share a kind word. Say something nice to someone in your family every single day for each person. And just see how that changes and makes the house so much more light at home. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, this is such a great word, and I'm just so glad that I got to share that with you guys. And I hope you have a great week. I am praying for you, and I thank you, and I miss you. God bless.